If you're looking for innovative strategic perspectives on how to enhance programs, products, and services, then you'll want to look no further than Andrew Broom. He's been with NBAA since 2021 as the Senior Vice President of Strategy, Marketing, and Innovation, and he joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Good to see you. How are you feeling so far about this week? I'm feeling great. This is going to be an awesome show. We've already had one of our biggest breakfasts ever in the history of the show, so the stage is set. We are ready to, to uh, kick this whole thing off and have a great show. It looks fabulous so far. So what are some of your strategies to brand NBAA? Well, so let's talk more on the membership side on how we make ourselves most relevant to as many members as possible. And you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways to do that. If I had 20 members in the room right now, they might have 20 different things that, that ring to them. So one, we've got to provide value that value can be seen in multiple different forms. It could be member benefits. It could be the advocacy we do on the Hill. It could be the events like they're coming to, you know, over the next few days. It could be our other conferences that we have throughout the year. You know, every member has a different value and, and you know, they want money in and they want return back. And so our goal is to capitalize on that and make sure we are delivering the products, the services, the member benefits, everything to keep them as members and grow our membership. So then what are some of your tips to help expand customer base for all aviation industry companies in 2022? Well, I mean, I think a, a big tip is listen to your customer. What do they want? And, are, and can you deliver that? You know, another tip is see where the emerging markets are. See where the, where the growth sectors are or see where there's a need. You know, uh, one of the things we're doing is we're, we're really good with flight departments and, and we're growing with uh, advanced air mobility. One of the areas that I think we, we could do better at is the owner pilots. And what could we do to better facilitate their needs? So earlier this year, we started something called the Owner Pilot Association Coalition, where we're bringing in the professional leaders from these groups to then figure out what can NBA do to help their members. And in turn, we all win because they get them, we get them, and we work together to uh, deliver value. All right, so you're bringing up the new Owner Pilot Association Coalition. Can you talk a little bit more about what that means and what it is? Sure, you know, my background is I came from uh, aircraft companies that, that built airplanes that flew single pilot. And also I came from another association, a, a big one that was for owner pilots. And then most recently I ran the Citation Jet Pilots Association. So I, I feel like I have a good finger on the pulse of those who own and fly their own airplanes. They're individuals, they're high net worth individuals who do everything from flight planning to buying fuel to looking at the weather to you know packing the bags to making sure their maintenance is done at a service center they have to do all of this and they don't have the infrastructure around them like a corporate flight department is has so our goal at MBA is let's bring them together let's figure out how to build their ecosystem make them safer more efficient uh, but then also Let's share information across those groups. A lot of these owners go from a single engine piston to usually a twin or a high performance piston to a turboprop to a jet. And so we want to make sure that each one of those associations has a consistent feel across. So I'm bringing those groups together. They're talking about safety first and foremost. They're talking about their events. They're talking about membership acquisition and retention. And they're talking about other things they can do to collaborate to, you know, that, that that philosophy of a rising tide floats all boats. Uh, if we get all together and we, we all accomplish similar goals, we can increase all of our memberships. That's probably a great conversation to have and to, to grow out within the industry. Absolutely. I mean, I guess, I guess there's other groups that could do that on service providers and other things. You know, the good thing about the owner pilot groups is they're not competitive. Mm -hmm. They're not out selling airplanes or products or services. In fact, a lot of their partners are the same because they're selling products across, mm -hmm. across that segment. So my goal is to bring them together and let's figure out things that we can go, go address together. So how do you create business opportunities for the association? Well, let's go back to the customer. What does the customer want? And what could we do to facilitate their needs? So whether it be our workman's comp program, whether it be our list of member benefits and travel benefits and rental cars and things like that. And then, you know, on the advocacy front, that's where NBA really shines. We are, we are their advocate in Capitol Hill. But how do those, those who, you know, the low hanging fruit we have who understand our advocacy, let's get the folks who, who maybe want to look for other things in a membership. And how do you create partnership opportunities that's a value to all of the parties? 
Yeah, so that is a big philosophy of mine and I think NBAA is they've got to be kind of win, 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 right? They've got to be a win for our members, a win for the partner, and then in turn NBA wins. Anything that's lopsided doesn't last very long. You can have a one-year partnership that if it's a win-lose, no one's going to, you know, it's not going to continue forever. So, so you're always listening to those three, including ourselves. How does it deliver value to each one of them and then capitalize on it? Well, Andrew, thank you so much for taking time to come by and talk with us. And good luck this week and have a great time. Perfect. I really appreciate y'all being here. Yeah, thank you.